funny because it mattered when I ended up in the hospital having to get my appendix removed after a late night with somebody that was a little bit too big for me and even the doctor confirmed that that was probably why I ended up in the hospital. So don't you dare tell me that size doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter the way that you guys think that it matters. Anyway. Maybe it's the delivery, but this should be a PSA. My question is, the person that sent you to the hospital, were they black or white? Because... Deep down, I'm praying that he was white. I don't know if y'all seen the video where I was talking about the pressure that us black men go through. These women of other races feel as though because you a black man, you gotta be coming to the bedroom with a weapon of mass destruction. One thing about me, I don't play. If we go into a restaurant and you sit with your back facing towards the door, we would never go on a date again and you'll never see me again. Cause what type of are you a man or not? If you go any place with your lady, or your family, especially your family. You have to sit facing the door. That way you can see any incoming dangers. That's basically what she's pointing towards. That's similar to when you're walking the street with your lady and you make sure that you are closer to the traffic. It's signs of being a protector. Stepmom has a fire ass dude. He's hot. You're into him. You like the way he dresses. You like his money, all that. You walk in the crib, stepmom's dude is chilling and, and he makes a pass at you. What are you gonna do? Jumping jacks on that. No. You what? That's your daddy. That's, mom's man's. Absolutely. That's that mom. That's my mom. <laughs> That's your daddy. Yeah, who's the man? <laughs> That's your daddy. You doing jumping jacks on your daddy, Wee Wee? <laughs> I just have a feeling he's gonna do something stupid. So I have a serious question and I want y'all to answer this bluntly and honest in the comments right now. If you are in a relationship with somebody or you are dating somebody and let's just say it's fairly new. Now we know how today's shit go down. Like mother spending the night and hanging out and doing all of that shit before you even get too serious. So if that's the case, you're in that situation. Fellas, the woman you are dealing with spends the night, you know she's on her cycle, and she bleeds in your bed. I'm talking about it's on the back of her sweats, it's on your sheets. How are you reacting? Ladies, if you are dealing with a new man and he pees in your bed, what is your reaction? Comment down below. I want to know. Let's turn this conversation up. Now, first off, ain't no grown-ass man should be peeing in the bed. As far as the cycle is concerned, as though we are grown adults, you understand the cycle might be showing his face when it don't need to show his face. You might not have known that your cycle was finna come on. And I'll just wash the sheets. I'll wash the sheets, go to CVS, and get you some tampons or whatever it is you, you use, and we'll continue today. That's the mature thing to do. If any other grown man say something different, I'm worried about you. She should have known her cycle was gonna come on. You might have put it down and you might have bought that mother down. Think about it like that, my boy. You might have hit the bottom and you might have bought it down. In that case, look at it as a compliment. No lie. During sex, if you choking me and slapping me and shit, you know what I'm saying? I like this shit. 
I like this like a mother, but you better be aware I'm gonna slap your ass back. So I don't give a how it go down. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna grip them mother hips and I'm gonna mother slap your ass back. Cause when I get on top, baby, I'm in charge. Huh. What was that you was talking? Yeah, yeah. I'm cool with all that. You can slap me back. Just don't spit in my mouth. When your baby daddy got your kid, see you riding with him. Jimmy don't care. You about to go to jail? Jimmy, you on camera. Jimmy, you need to calm down before you go to jail. Whatever she did, it ain't worth it, Jimmy. The crazy thing is the fact that her friend had the door open, she already know what type of time Jimmy been on. So Jimmy been doing some foul shit. Y'all know Jimmy crazy. If this was your sister and you see this video online, what would you do? Would you go have a conversation with Jimmy? Because right now, this is the crazy part. Now let me talk. Now let me talk. This is the problem. I mean, if you I say mean, another f word, I'm going to drop you. I mean, Shh. Do not speak. What you do is turn around before I get angry. Have a nice day. Bye. Get up. This is why I don't like bouncers at clubs like i do feel as though bouncers at clubs do way too much and that was one of the things that turned me off from going to the club we would go to the club bro and the bouncers used to look for problems you have a gun it's thousands of people out here that have guns so just because you have a gun does not mean that you superman another thing that they do too you go to the club you minding your business the bouncers are gonna jump you instead of trying to de-escalate situations they escalated even more. That's what I need to do. I need to like talk to somebody who's a bouncer. Like I want to hear the mentality that they have when they be at the club. Like what make you feel as though you that ill of a nigga to do the type of things that you doing to people? Oh my bad. Like this might be random, but like you got me mind blown by your beauty. Yeah, what's your name? Princess. Princess? Really? That's a good. That's you know what I'm saying. Interesting name. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Sabadu. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Where you from, though? Here. You're from here? Is there any way, like, I get to know you? You can look at my Instagram. Instagram? I can't get your number, though? I'm not single. Oh, you're not single? All right, I got you. It's an evil world we live in. You live around here? Yeah. All right, bet. I like your glasses, too. Thank you. And your hair is nice. I'll follow you, All right, I don't really use Instagram, but... I know somebody's gonna be like, oh, she not single, but she giving out her Instagram. Fellas, everybody ain't as sane as you. It's guys out here who can't take rejection and would try to cause physical harm to your woman. So I see what she did there. I don't know how dude look. I don't know if he look like he might be crazy. Now she could have denied him, yes, she could have denied him, but at the same time, her giving out her Instagram and not her number, I'm not 100% upset about that. Think about it, bro, it's random niggas following your girl right now. It's random dudes in your girl's DMs right now that she may not respond to, that's still on accept. Yeah, put the fire out. Say Lady starts spraying water on the neighbor's grill. Babo jest po, po, przejebane. No, it's not Benny. Nie wszedł w kurza, nie, nie, zostaw, zostaw. Ale wyłącz, wyłącz to. The fact that we have people like this that exist in our world is insane to me. Could you imagine grilling and somebody taking a hose 
and spraying water on your food on the grill. You know what? I am I am grateful that I've never had a neighbor that is that bold. That's a crash out moment right there. Now, I want to know how the police would react to a situation like that. Can you arrest somebody for doing that? No. I don't even think they can arrest somebody for doing that. I guess in a situation like that, you can file a restraining order against the person. You should be able to file a restraining order. That's crazy to me. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. I went on a date with a guy and he took me to a crab boil place. Oh, with the plastic bags? Right. I was very offended. Should I have been offended? That's not. A, was that a first date? Yes. But, and he told me it was called oh. boiling crab and I thought it was like Mastro's, like somewhere really... <laughs> I was a really upper class and like a walk It was maestro, not maestro. Right, literally. <laughs> the food was in the bag and mm -hmm. there was no bin, a trash can. They mm -hmm. had to just leave the, the carcasses on the table. Oh no. There was no the knives carcasses. and forks. Some carcasses. There was, <laughs> there was it, it was, and I expected if this crab is coming in a bag, it's going to be the best crab I've ever had because how dare you have the audacity to put this crab in a bag. It has to be mm -hmm. exceptional. Mm -hmm. no. And it was mid, it was terrible. And I was just mm -hmm. like, this can't be, and I kicked up a fuss. He said I was um, high maintenance. And mm -hmm. I don't believe that I'm high maintenance because I like my restaurants to come with plates. And you let people juice on your chest. Right. You're not not my face. <laughs> so this is the thing. Crab, I don't, I'm still not into that era of crab. Crab in a bag. Caveman style. She's not a crab in a no, bag. No, I want to be. I want to be. No, there's nothing you do with your girls, with people you're familiar with, your man, you've been together. Right. I don't. I don't think that's a first date. Okay. Okay. And you can come for me all you want. <laughs> I don't care. If you've been here, you know that I try my best to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. I try to be equal in the way I judge certain things. But every once in a while, you see videos that I feel set us back. I see videos that take me back to that old mentality. I don't believe in going on dates and spending money on random bitches. That's, that was my mentality. I may have eased up a little bit, but imagine going on a first date and thinking it might be a fun experience and then the bitch complaining. As men, we just be having to work too hard to impress people who aren't impressive. Like, why do I have to work so hard to impress you? All right, if we went to this date and you saw the type of place it was and it didn't meet your expectations, before we even sat down and ate, suggest something else. I'm pretty sure the guy would have been open to it. So just something that you might feel comfortable doing. I just hate the fact that as a man is in the dating world, it's so easy for us to set ourselves up for failure. I remember when I was single, I would get a young lady's number and we would start texting. And I, I hated texting. Or we would get on the phone and then a bitch would be dry. Dry. You have nothing to talk about. But on the flip side, you came on the phone with the attitude like, all right, nigga, you have five minutes to impress me. I hate that shit. Honestly, ladies, single ladies, ladies who are married but can remember when they were single, did you have to impress your husband? Did you have to impress your boyfriend? Or he had to impress you and you just had to sit back and enjoy the show? Is that in there? The two that were fighting. Yeah. This girl, she came to my house. She's been sleeping with my fiance. Mm. She works over there. He, she's his manager, and she keeps on forcing him to have sex with her after he then cut it off, or she's gonna fire him. And we ended up fighting right there because she approached my home. This is my home. She lives all the way over there. Okay, is everybody in the house right now? Oh, just me. I'm the only one I fought. Just me. The girl she left. Is your sister involved? My sister. Oh, I yo, I heard about she this. Is she, she involved? There. She was there. Mm -hmm. We know that there was like an incident yeah. that happened earlier today. Mm -hmm. Has anyone called you about it since? No. Was somebody supposed to? Well, we just got another call about it. So I guess okay. the girl went to the hospital. She okay. died. And she died. She Yo. Died. She's dead. So, but we know that there was like an altercation that happened beforehand. Yeah, that was mutual when she came here. Yeah, we understand that. Yeah. So hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So, I seen another video talking about this, right? It wasn't as cut and dry as that. What happened was, the lady in the video and her sister, they found the young lady's number in her 
fiance's phone, right? Basically, her fiance and the young lady were texting. And she texted the young lady to meet her at the house. But she acted like she was the fiance and was like, hey, hey, boo, come holla at me. Da, 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 da. I'm at the crib, whatever. As soon as the young lady showed up, they put hands and feet on her and she later died. Based on what the other video said, I ain't gonna lie now, that's that's premeditated murder. Yeah, I basically set her up for that. Another story I want to tell before I get famous so someone else can't tell it for me. Okay, embarrassing story number three. I was in middle school and literally obsessed in love, whatever you want to call it, with my guy best friend. Okay, but at the time, he, he had a girlfriend. We're standing in the hall, we're going back and forth. He's like, I can pick you up. And I was like, no, like, you're weak. Like, you cannot pick me up. So... We're standing here, it's like the bell rang, so we're all about to leave at the end of the day in middle school. He picks me up, you know, like regular, like wraps his body around my legs, picks me up. I'm like, okay, why you pick me up? He sees his girlfriend coming. Oh my God. When he sees her coming, he drops me. And I'm not talking about like, oh, like he just dropped me straight down, I landed on my feet. I mean like he leaned forward, still was holding my legs, and basically slammed me on the ground. His girlfriend comes up, hugs him, looks at me on the floor. <laughs> I've never felt so fucking goofy. That's kind of messed up, but my boy I had to think fast. <laughs> I remember junior high school. Bro, in junior high school, I used to have a crush on this young lady. So from sixth grade to eighth grade, me and this young lady was in the same homeroom. I used to have the, the biggest crush on her. But, you know, she wasn't feeling me. You know, I wasn't one of the fly guys in school. But eighth grade, we had a new student. We had a new young lady that came to the school, and she was really pretty. 13, she was 13. She was built like a grown-ass woman. I remember we used to walk home, and... Grown men used to drive by in a car and pssst, like used to really try to talk to her. Now, mind you, this is a 13-year-old girl. We became really close, but we weren't girlfriend and boyfriend or nothing like that. We were just really close. We used to be outside. We used to play basketball together. We would walk home together. Um, we used to like walk in the lunchroom together. She, she was like, she dressed like a girl. But she was kind of a tomboy, you know what I'm saying? And she, I remember she was Hispanic. The girl that I had a crush on from 6th grade, 7th grade, into 8th grade, had her friend give me a message. She have a crush on you, and she's really starting to like you. And she want to, you know, she want to know if you want to go out. Caught me so off guard, bro, because I've been trying to profess my love to this young lady since I was in 6th grade. And all of a sudden, you want me to be your boyfriend? Like, that shit caught me so off guard. So I was like, yo, this is a joke? Like, y'all joking? I was like, nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Because I'm thinking they trying to Aston Cushion me. I thought this was punk. Turns out she was telling the truth. But anyway, bro, me and the other young lady, we was cool. And, you know, we graduated junior high school. And I haven't seen her since. I think the last time I seen her was over the summer before... We went to high school, and then after that, I've never seen her again. Personally, I hope that she's doing fine. She had a lot going on. And you know what else was crazy, too? Some of y'all niggas was really on y'all R. Kelly stuff back in the day. Because she used to tell me about her ex-boyfriend and how they just broke up, and he used to put hands on her and shit like that. You know how old her ex-boyfriend was? Her ex-boyfriend was 23. She was 13, and her ex-boyfriend was 23. 